Okay, Bino Black here, folks. And basically, you can see the date and the time and the idea that we'll go ahead and see about Lovejoy. Okay. Okay, the number one thing to remember is the idea that we have seen that action before, that there, recently. I showed you in uh, Lasco 3. I should be able to pull, I'll try to pull the picture up right at the end of this here video here. So keep an eye on that falling object that looks like an eagle or an angel. And the idea that ancient times, folks, we have, and also remember what I was showing you somewhat about on the, and I'll have more comments because I love the U.S. Olympic team. So the idea that in the future I will be mentioning as much as I can about those uh, coins that get struck and the idea that the medals that they will possibly win uh, in the Olympic Games. And this here footage also of the action that we see that objects and Beano Black was showing you a long time ago. Look at my old videos, the idea that I told you that comets were hitting the sun and the idea that they call them grazing. Well, certain size, certain big, make it through. And yes, there's a force field out there as you see that. And now as you see it move through and other objects that come streaking through and then we get not a solar flare but action from a comet hitting the sun. And also my favorite place to go, which I hope the government and Rockefeller Square haven't taken over too much his site or influenced him or twisted his arm or bribed him. We'll check his site out, see if Kerasoft has taken him over or not. I'm sure by the time this video airs, we will end up filtering through within the next week or a couple weeks to see who... If Dutch can still really be himself all the time, which I'm sure he can because he's an American citizen, so he always can. So whether he's influenced or not, I don't think it'd be smart for anybody to say whether they are or not. Uh, CPM and RADs are real. And the idea that this is a lot of combined footage here real quick of that I've been able to dig back up. showing you different objects. These are videos that I got ready to make and didn't make and so forth and so on. So, so remember, sun is always in the well, whether we look at any one of the NASA stuff, the idea that usually will show you that either sun not there or there or wherever. But the idea that when you look at like the closest objects, that big old map, I'll probably be able to go to their site too. We'll see what's going on in the big objects. Sun's in the hole in the well. Mars is here, and people talking about Phobos is basically it's a moon of Mars. Okay, so the idea that it is something to pay attention a little bit because the idea. Uh, let me show you the distance on Mars, and the idea that we don't know, but and it's got to be around Mars. So the idea that it's hella close too. Okay, but the idea that nothing's going to hit us and so forth and so such. It's just the idea that between here and the Sun, the Sun's in the well in the hole. Okay. So the idea that no matter, you got to remember everything's on its stereo turn in the stereo player in space, but everything's at different heights, okay? And that's the idea that the supergiants are close because they are close to, the sun is in the supergiants right here in the center of the well, plus all this stuff is very close to the supergiants. You got to remember height up and down. This is all stereo. You're looking at a record album. That's why we don't get record albums that much anymore to make you remember that the idea that how a record album spins around flat. All these objects in space f spin around in their orbit flat. Or they stay stationary and they don't rise or fall. They don't have a rise or a set. So the ones that have rises and sets and comets and asteroids that are going through space, love, joy, so forth, that we basically did not just show you, but I showed you in my last video, the idea that we're going to look for to see how big love, joy is. And let's look, look at some photos of, of stuff up by, I believe, if you're at Sechi, you'll see the idea they're trying to show you old photos of 2007 and of other things to try to calm you down. Well, it's not the same stuff, not the same stereo player, not the same amount of years, okay? And as you can see, this is a solid object. A brightness and the idea that that's not a flare and as you watch the clock through every photo 
Mercury and Mars, as far as we're to be told. Okay. So if Phobos and Mars are close to us, also I'll check Mercury's distance in a second. And the idea that they're saying that that's Earth here in this shot. So the Milky Way, asteroid, belt, or whatever, all we know is a lot of stuff is melding because we have this darkness. We have, if this is Earth and it can be trusted to be that that's Earth, the only thing I'm just a little distrustful on that is the idea that, well, then there's a lot of objects close to us. And then the idea that not, it's basically a fact. This is factual that that's Earth. If you blow this shot up, they've got that marked as Earth. That's not me doing it. And the idea that this large stuff is here, here, here. All this stuff, large stuff is by Earth, close. And we know that Mercury, because I, I blew that up for you to see the data, they do have that mark as Earth, folks. There's their shot. These are all their shots, just basically. And there, the idea that they don't like you blowing up the shots too much. Uh, so there's bright object up there by Mercury and Mars. And I just showed you the map on that, where all this stuff should basically be because this is a current map that I just showed you in the well and so forth. Now this is the object that I saw in these dates. And it was a flare from the sun. Uh, I think I can even pull up the player and play the video on that shot uh, of this here. I got a video player movie of it. Or if anything, go to and watch the movie of this here flare. Okay. Because basically you just need to. I don't have time to get it fixed into this picture. So the idea that there are even the Queens or Br the Jack, Britain, England's cameras on their ships down there turned around to see a shot. Let me see if I can cue it. Here's more of this flare that went out. And the idea, if you pay attention to that flare, you will find some very large stuff. Now this is one thing to look at, the idea that, uh, th remember the camera shots being up and down, because that should be that same flare. Uh, that's December 13th. What, would, what did I have for a date for this here back here was the 12th? Okay, so then this is where I'm wondering about on that flare there that I got from this the Natcha photo. Is this flare from the supergiants behind the sun, folks? Check this out, okay? That looks like a sun flare from one of the suns that's behind the sun because this shot's from behind the sun. If you really pay attention and blow this up, you will be able to always watch these videos in a full full blown flare. This really looks like a flare from a supergiant sun. Okay, I'm gonna show you there. I get, get zooming into on it even more, and there's an even more where the idea that you can see how that's acting, and the idea that it doesn't have any action back here by the sun that it's a flare. If so, then it was nothing like we normally see where it puts out a flare like this. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't have any backtrack. I mean, it's right there in the picture. The evidence is right there, okay? You don't see that here. You don't see this between here and here, and this is coming out from the probably more than likely the supergiants as I blow up into it more. There you go. You see? That really looks like something coming out of the supergiants. And I apologize about the mic, but, and then, so, remember, go back to my other videos, or if anybody's remembered the idea the sun's about right here somewhere, or it, the sun is somewhere in here, okay? Because Rigo Cantaris B is in front, between us, in the well, or actually probably behind us. So the idea that Rigo Cantaris B, the Earth could be up here somewhere in the Supergiant's main b sequence belt. And then going back to those photos I just showed you, uh, keep it short. Now this was distance a while back, okay? So that we are that far away from it, folks. But the idea, and remember the height and the flatness on the stereo player. The idea that where Earth is in relation to that, even though it's far away, it's far away up and to the right of us, okay? And more than likely, that's our sun that's coming up. Uh, and basically, I go through to do these videos real fast, and the idea that this stuff just kind of bleeds and falls together, folks. Okay, and another, uh, one of the flares from before, too, is the idea that I caught this shot on, I believe you should have seen the date, yep. So the idea that this is very interesting here, and also we still have our... You know, and it, it just depends on, it could be different ones. It, this could be the same flopper that comes down, our eagle, our angel, that all, and the idea all the triangulations up there make those different things. So everybody sees in a little conception in your eye view, and there, i.e., that flare again, that the idea that it's just pretty substantial, that the idea that this is coming from a super giant. I had to keep my pointer away from there so you can look at that, but look at that. And I had to blow it up to so back up the players and stuff like that. So that the more than likely, it's not 
you can watch the dates and everything like that. I don't believe it that it's a flare, but remember that gas. Okay, there's that distance. So let's let me go to live today. Okay, folks, and watch the uh, footage on going to Mars. A uh, recent. Uh, if you keep your eyes open, you'll really learn. Uh, U.S. taxpayers and the idea that I'm just going to stop there. So the idea that American citizens, U.S. taxpayers, enjoy your NASA footage of going to Mars and the idea, keep in mind that the short time that it takes to get to Mars right now, and there is your reason why right there, okay, distance. Uh, we are at our almost, I'll give it the closeness that we are to the sun right now, and then you'll realize distances, folks. Okay, and this is temperatures on Mars. Okay, we've got two moons on Mars. I believe Phobos is one of them. Hang on, I'll give you more. Okay, there's more on this is Mars. Okay, pay attention to the current distance from the sun of, of Mars. Okay, this is Mars, and I'll show you, and then the idea of the current distance of Earth, and then remember the pictures I showed you of Mars, and the idea also that supergiants exist, folks, and the sun ain't that big and that bright as all that we see in those pictures. So keep in mind the distance of Mars, and then let's go look at Phobos, that was one of the more famous moons. There's two of them there of, the, of Mars. Let's check that out. Okay, so Phobos current distance from Earth. Okay. Okay, Phobos is in Leo. That's what Phobos looks like, pretty much a moon. And the idea that from the rendition, you can pretty much see that it's slammed into some stuff pretty much, and it's brown. Okay. Discovered 134 years ago, so the idea that, that wow, about imagine how close it was in. I hate patent law thieves and stuff like that, so we wanted, at least they say Asphalt Hall, but did he or the Asphalt Hall actually find it? Who knows? Thieves abound. Okay, Phobos turns it around 7.6 hours, so, all right, there's its mass. Okay, orbit center, Mars, uh, duh, we know where it's at. Because Phobos is close to Earth, and let's take a look where Earth, Mars, and the other moon. Okay, the real close distance to the Earth of the Sun, and it's closer than this even now, folks. And I'm going to plot through these pictures of that. I.e., there is our closest we've ever been recorded by man and survived to be able to be read it is the 9832898989 AU, and we are currently at 9845 AU, so we are darn close to getting close to this all time record that we ever wrote it down and kept record of it. Uh, I got a feeling we were a lot closer than that before in the past. Dark ages and who knows back when. Okay, so this is what everybody's trying to figure out through who's alive on Earth today and records on Earth. How close have we got? Sun is in the supergiants. So once again, folks, awesome shots here from Navy. We love the Navy. All U.S. Armed Forces. Anything out there for freedom and democracy and not taking away your constitutional rights. And we keep democracy alive all over the world. We're not going to kill it here in the United States. So anything lately in politics has probably been just politics. Everybody's trying to win the vote. Everybody wants to win the presidency. And I think what's been sitting there is time to come out because we haven't seen any jobs. So the idea that that's the big thing that everybody has to look at is anything else would create jobs. Uh, no sitting president, no nothing is ever going to kill democracy and take our constitutional rights away from us. So let's look at some more so this is fresh for you today, folks. The idea that basically, as long as they keep giving us the shots, we should be able to see it either get close or graze the sun. And the idea that you can see the archangels and everything like that, and everybody get religious and try to Bible whip people into bullshit. Well, I'm religious, and I can cuss and swear. God gave me the right, and constitutional right is America. And the idea that every U.S. vet... Tons of U.S. vets have been in the stink, folks, and the idea that they maybe are not religious because the idea that why would God put them there and the nasty stuff that they had to do. So anyway, religion and that and everything, but it just means to make constitutional rights, folks, your constitutional rights. That's what we got a right to, okay? No Bible beating and throwing it in people's face and all this crap. People are going to try to pull shit. The idea of the super giants, if you look to the left, there is light and a lot of brightness to this side of the sun as we look up there and this is from behind the sun and the idea that remember you've seen the pictures of Mercury so forth so the idea this should be Lovejoy possibly or just the other ones that we see coming in and then you can also see that we can blow this up so as the Navy's recent latest image shows you right there blown up 400 percent you're gonna get that Archangel V action there and this is a comet coming towards the sun so another video here in a few minutes folks because there's just too much stuff to share and not make more than one. 
Next video, we'll see what they're hiding, folks. Probably always watch all videos every day.